Now, for eight years, artist Katie Horwich has been painting page three girls in a copy of the outfit that she herself was wearing that day. And now, since she started in 2002, she claims it's evolved into a political statement, saying it became less to do with what they were wearing and more that they were at least wearing something anything. The outfits that she dressed them in document all of Katie's own fashion moments. So it all looks rather amusing. But on the on the serious side of it, do you actually think that the time has come, Jane McDonnell, for page three to cover up? No, I don't. I, I, it's an institution in this country, really. And, and you know that when you buy the sun, page three is going to be a lovely girly on there with phenomenal uh, yeah, with assets, I would say. But it's a um, newspaper. But yeah. it's not. An, it's a, a newspaper that a lot of men buy. So you know, if they want to, if they want to see that, that's fine. You know. But nowadays, you could buy loads of magazines. I, I think it's quite interesting. There's a thing in the papers this week about lots of songs, um, especially kind of rap songs infer that all women are sluts, you know. And it's the same kind of principle. Not all Why? Rap songs, but no, lots but, of but them. you know they've got lot, not all of them, no, mm. but some of them the words are, that seems to be the cool thing. And you look at kind of some young people on Saturday night now and you think, you're not doing yourself any favours. And if that's it's become the norm, hasn't it, to see uh, a pair of a naked woman in a newspaper, and you think, well, we're not doing ourselves any favours, nor are we doing young men any favours. So, well, if they, what, if why they want do you to read think it, you're not doing the any favours, what do you mean? Because it's by just that? life isn't about flashing your boobs it, mm. it actually isn't and you there are other ways of of being interesting there are other and it's a newspaper that's selling news stories and you're saying to young men you know you're not capable of reading a news story without looking at page three first it's mm. i think it's degrading to the men and the women personally well, I, I have to say i used to actually quite like linda lusardi and sam fox and maria whittaker when i was i mean i wasn't going oh god it's page three but there were celebrities to me so i can't yeah, you know about you know last sort of 30 years ago mm. 25 30 years ago and and then you know we still had that kind of seaside humour where, you know, getting your boobies out was really funny in a newspaper. And now I, I, just, I think it's out of date. I, I was asked to speak about this at the Oxford Union a couple of years ago. And, um, I mean, they were a bit extreme in that is, their, their line was, is patriot acceptable in the 21st century? Well, you know, I wouldn't say it was unacceptable, but I do think it's dated and I think it's, it's had its day. And, and, I, and, I, and the Sun does actually now... Um, purport to be a really serious newspaper, you know, with good political reporting and, and, and everything. And then you open it up and there's some bird standing there with no top on. You, do, and, do you and, think it's degrading? Um, well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessarily um, exploitative to the, to the girls, no, because they know exactly what they're doing and they all look at Jordan, they all think, oh, I'm going to make as much money of, as her if I just go on to page three and, and get my boobies out. So, you know, and it's the way but they kind of insult... That is degrading, isn't it? That no, if a degrading. young woman thinks the only way she's going to get anywhere... Yeah, why is or that making degrading money? when they know what they're doing? It's not... No, 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 no it's, it's not, not exploitative. Them. It's not exploitative, but it's, in, it's degrading. But degrading themselves, then, you're Themselves, and, and what, actually it's being encouraged. So if that's their talent, as it were, but, but, then why is it... But depressing? sorry, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, to get your what's-its out and flash them was... You couldn't... The, that's no, the lowest form of entertainment. Was, there's there's always way. been top shelf magazines, though. You, know, Fair you enough. have to admit that's that. Now shelf, they're on the middle now, shelf. Now it's yeah. the norm. So every girl thinks it's okay to flash. Not what? every girl. Not every well, girl. They do you it know. every Saturday night and they fall over drunk and get their well, watches out. You see, I was looking at yeah, <laughs> Why not? Everybody's doing it. I, I just always look at the sun that's as different. being. They're not making money out of it. We're talking well, about women who are girls who are making money out of it. No, but it's a part of the syndrome that it's okay. To, to be naked and topless, and this is great and fine, and you're going to make money out of it, and as long as it makes money, you're not degrading yourself. You know, what's more patronising to me is the fact that the, the newspaper actually pretends that these girls have got a view on the news, and they call it news in briefs. And, <laughs> you know, it's just some silly comment and some really desperately serious story. And, I, and, it, and you know, it's a, li it's a little bit annoying. And, I you know, I, I speak about what I said a couple saying. of years ago. It always ago. makes me chuckle, actually, to read what Katie well, thinks. They should have a man in briefs now well, and say this... Disaster. Oh, no, they should have I'm... a man in briefs with the title Well Hung Parliament. <laughs> <laughs>